Samsung Note is my go-to note-taking app. In this video, I'm going to show you some basic to advanced features along with some tips and tricks. A timestamp will be in the description below so you can move to the point that you need to see. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to set up our Samsung icon so it will be in our main tool bar. So you take this and you drag it down and now it's in your main tool bar. As a backup system, next we're going to add a Samsung widget. To add a widget, you simply tap the screen, hold, go to widgets, and then you want to scroll down until you see Samsung Notes. In Samsung Notes, you have three different widgets that you can use. A shortcut, a note creator, and then single note. We're going to use the note creator. So you touch it and hold it. And now you have your widget and your Samsung Notes on your screen. Here's a tip with the Samsung icon. If you press on the icon, you can see other options that will come up and you can choose it to take notes. Type a note, write with pen, record a voice note. Now on your widget, you have several options that you can use. For example, if you want a new note, then you would tap that. If you wanted to see all of your notes, you tap on this and it will give you a list of the notes that you've already taken. Tap this and then you can type a note in. Tap this, you can write a note in. Tap this, you can choose your pen style or pencil and also the color by simply tapping on whichever one you want and then choose the color. And if you want to make a voice note, you can simply tap on that and now it will record your voice note. Now let's look at the main setting features. Tap on it to open it. We're going to go to the menu bar. And on the menu bar, we're going to go to settings. Now here in settings, these are all the things that you can do. For example, if you have Samsung Cloud, you can connect it to sync up to it. If you have Microsoft OneNote, you can sync it to sync up to it as well by simply turning it on. Also, your screen off memo. You tap on this and you can choose what you want as far as same as same as the screen off memo means that it, it will take the same notes pen color on white background or black ink on white background next we're going to look at the general settings now in the general settings you can manage your folders and in this, you can choose whichever folder you have already on here. Or you can edit the folder. Or you can take the folder and you can move it around by simply dragging it up and down. Or if you want to take a folder and you want to rename the folder, you can move the folder, you can create subfolders, you can change the color to the folder, you can rename the folder, or you can delete the folder. All of these can be done in the manage folder. Next we're going to look at page styles and templates. Now it comes with all different types of styles and templates and colors. Now you can choose, first of all, you can choose the page style, but you can have it individual pages or you can have it infinite scrolling, which means it's going to continue to scroll as long as you put information on it. You can also have the layout to be normal or you can have it to be long. Now your scroll direction, you can choose the way you want the page to scroll. Up and down, vertically, horizontally, or you can have a two page horizontal scroll. Templates. Tap on the templates and now you have a selection of templates that you can use. And you can select the template by simply tapping on it. On the templates you can use either images or even you can use PDFs. Now if you use a PDF then you will have to tap on it to download it. 
and then it will be saved as a PDF. Now you can change the color for your notes. You can set different color backgrounds for whatever you want it to be from these notes. In the templates, you can also choose images from whatever file you have on your system. Hit the plus sign, go to gallery. You can choose images from the gallery or you can choose bitmojis, photos, whatever that comes up in your share screen. And you can also do PDFs as well. You can select files or images from anything that you have on your system. Touch the plus, now all of the various things that you have on here. Internal drive, your OneDrive, your Google Drive, you can get images or PDF file from any of these uh, programs. Next we're going to look at the note unlock methods. Now you can choose biometrics in this. For example, you can choose to use your fingerprint to unlock your messages or your notes. And you have the ability to import notes. Now you can import notes from your Samsung account, from your Google Drive, or anything that you have connected to this. Some settings that you're going to want to set. Okay, so you auto save notes. This will save your notes. Show link in notes. This will show the links in the notes that you've saved. Show web preview. This will preview websites that you save from other apps. Action icons. Now, you can send email, telephone numbers, whatever you want straight from icons to appear in your handwritten notes. So you want to turn that on. High scroll bar when editing definitely turn that on. High navigation bar, that's up to you. Now here you can choose what language that you want. The language that I would choose will be English. And let's look at the toolbar add-on. In the toolbar add-on, these are some things that you want to add as well. You, you ask pen to text. Now what this does is this will automatically convert written text to type text. Straighten handwriting. If you are like me and your handwriting is terrible, well this will make your handwriting look neat. Change the style. You can change the color thickness of your handwriting after it is written. Convert to text. You can quickly convert handwritten notes into text. Auto fix shape. Easy writing pad. What this does is this will neatly align your writing to the pad itself. Zoom lock. You can lock the canvas while you write and you swipe two fingers to scroll to the location of the canvas. Now we're going to create a note and look at the note taking features. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is put a title in and we'll go in and we'll type so now we're going to look at some of the features. You'll notice at the bottom you have your toolbar. Now you can take this toolbar and you can drag it around and put it anywhere on the screen that you want to put it. On the toolbar you have several different actions that you can complete. So first of all you can take the toolbar and you can move it around up or down or wherever you want to position it at. The first thing we're going to look at is your keyboard. Now you tap on this and it will bring up a keyboard. If you wanted to add a check mark or checklist, you tap on this and this will put a checklist in your document. If you wanted to uh, add some tech, text options, you can click on this and you have all of your options here from bullets to bold, italics, so on and so forth. To change the text, you tap on the text button. You tap on the text, you choose your color. Now your text will be that color. To change the text background, you tap on this, and it'll change the background to the text. To increase the font size, you simply tap on this, and it will increase the font size. And then to undo, you tap the undo, to redo, you tap the redo. And if you want your S Pen to text, you tap this. Now when you write something, 
it automatically changes it to text. And then you have more settings that you can do up here. You can go into the settings and you can choose the body or a new text box. Now let's look at some more options. You have your keyboard. You tap the keyboard and it brings your keyboard up. You have your pen option, a pen mode. You tap this and it turns into the pen mode. You hold it and then you can adjust the type of pen, pencil pen you want to use. You could adjust the width of it. You can also adjust the color. You can add it to your favorites if you want to, or you can delete it. Next, you have your highlight, your pen highlighter mode. You tap on this, and now you can highlight text. Next, you have your eraser mode. You tap on that, and you can erase it. Pen selection. You have your selection mode. You can select it and you can change the style, color. You can also choose the keyboard, the clipboard. You can also use your clipboard. You can move backward, you can move forward, you can straighten it out, or you can convert it to text. You have your undo and redo. You have your S pen to text. You have your straighten, straighten to text. You have your convert to text, and you can change the style and you have your writing pad so you write in here and it'll show up there next you have your shape tool so it'll automatically fix, fix shapes tap on it it will automatically fix it and finally you have your lock screen a zoom lock now this basically locks your screen for you. Now if you want to save your document, you can save it in different formats. So you go to your ellipsis and you come down to where it says save file as. Now you can choose to save it as a Samsung note. You can save it as a PDF file. You can save it as a Microsoft Word file, a PowerPoint image file or whatever. So we'll save it as a Samsung Note file. Now you can select the folder that you want to save it in. And you hit done. Then you give it a, 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 a title or and you hit done. Then you give it a, 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 a title or a name. Now it's saved. Now if you want to add some type of attachment to it, you click on the attachment. You can insert an image from your gallery. You can take something from the camera itself. You can add a scan. You can add a PDF file. You can add a voice file. Simply tap on it. Hello, this is a test. This is only a test. You can add your document to your favorites by simply clicking on that. Now it's added to your favorites. To share a document, you simply go to the share icon, tap on it, and then you decide what format you want to send it in. And then you decide how you want to send it. And then you send it. You can use the search feature to search for notes. You can search for them by tags you can add tags to your notes you can print notes from your screen, tapping on the print. It'll find a printer if you have it connected. And then you just simply print it. Now this has been a, 
a long tutorial showing you how to use Samsung Notes app. It's an excellent app. Hopefully you found benefit from this tutorial. If you did find value in this tutorial, please give me a like, hit that subscribe button, ring the bell to see my next video when it drops, share, and comment. In the comment section, let me know what program do you use for taking notes on your Samsung Android phone. I am Bertrand Tech Man. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.